Hello, here we are. How you be? Expectations versus reality. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley. What's up? Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I am having a pretty okay day myself, so I thought I would run through some expectations versus reality with you guys. These expectations versus reality are going to be surrounding testosterone, and they are going to be also surrounding my personal experiences with testosterone. So what I am saying is not law, it is not the guaranteed be-all, end-all of everything. It's just what happens to be my personal experience with it. So let's stop talking and do some walking. So with testosterone you generally expect your voice is going to get lower and you'll be able to talk more like a man and you'll sound more like a man. If there is a specific thing that a man sounds like. But in reality this is what your voice is gonna sound like. The voice cracks are absolutely ridiculous. I've been on testosterone for over two years and my voice still cracks in a ridiculous amount. So to be like two months on T and have your voice be this low and like not have all these voice cracks is absolutely ridiculous because you're gonna have voice cracks. Your voice isn't gonna get that deep, probably. I mean, I don't know, my voice didn't get that deep. And you sound kinda ridiculous. You are a pubescent boy at that point. You're gonna be like, hell yeah, I'm on testosterone now. I gotta do my shot once a week. I'm never gonna forget that shit. Trust me you're gonna forget that shit. I forget my shots all the time and I've been on testosterone for over two years, so the fact that I'm still forgetting them I think says a lot. So you're gonna wanna set that reminder on your phone, you're gonna wanna have a friend text you to remind you to do them because you will forget. Also, I just changed the setting on my camera, so if it's different now from how it was, that's why, because it was on the wrong setting. Shots in general suck. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be able to do this, no problem. Well, if you're like me, you'd have a phobia of needles before you started testosterone. And then you have to like realize that, oh, your dad's not going to be able to do your shots for the rest of your life. So, hmm, what are you going to do about that? About six months in, I said, screw it. I'm just going to learn how to do my own shot. And I'm finally able to do it. And I have been since that point. But still, having to do your own shot is ridiculous. It sucks. It hurts. And the shots are painful. Mainly because testosterone is a really thick liquid. So you can like literally feel it going into your skin and it burns. A lot of times when you start tea, you're told that it's... It helps with gaining muscles. So you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go work out a little bit. I'm gonna get buff. I'm gonna get those abs and all that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's not what happens. T is also known to help you gain weight. Now this weight is not always muscle weight. A lot of times it is the fat weight that y'all don't want. At least that's how it was with me. No muscle. I gained no muscle mass whatsoever. I just ended up gaining 100 pounds otherwise because it increases your appetite to a ridiculous amount and all of these other reasons and it's ridiculous. And you walk into it and you're gonna be like, I'm gonna be growing facial hair, my structure's gonna change, I'm gonna be able to pass a cyst to everybody on the street. When at least in my case, every day, every day, I can still go out every single day and it's like, hello ladies, would you like a table? Or excuse me miss, you dropped something? Literally to this day, no matter what I do, I'm over two years on testosterone and I don't pass worth a damn. And part of that, part of that would be considered my fault because I don't actively look hyper masculine. I don't like to actively look hyper masculine, but I'm also fat and have curves and people associate that with female for some reason. Also, facial hair does not grow at the extent that you think it's going to because again, I haven't shaved in ages and this is still what my face looks like after two years on hormones. So yeah, things are not what they seem. If you like this video or related to it at all, please give it a big thumbs up and you can leave a comment down below telling me what your experience with tea is, what you think your experience with tea is gonna be. You can also hit the little bell button and subscribe down below to be notified whenever I post a brand new video. If you click the video box on the screen, it'll take you to my last video and the two little bubbles will take you to subscribe to this channel and to my vlog channel. I've been vlogging a lot more, so you're gonna wanna see that. I I love you guys loads, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Goodbye!